Greeting teachers and students. This is an edited version of The Bishop's Candlesticks, written by Norman McKinnell. The characters are Bishop, Bishop's brother, convict, cook, and sergeant. Enjoy. Richard! Yes, father. Why is he not so boring eh? I think you haven't put up the fire properly. But father, you yourself made up the fire. Don't answer me like that. It's rude. Yes, father. Then don't let me have to rebuke again. No, father. I wonder where my brother can be. It's after 11 o'clock and no sign of him. Richard, did he leave a message to me? No, father. Did he tell you where he was going? Yes, father. Yes, father. Then why haven't you told me stupid? Father said only this morning I was not to chatter. So I thought. So you thought? Ha! Ah, it's hopeless. Yes, father. Ah! Don't, don't keep saying yes, father. Yes, father. Yes, father. Well, why did my brother say he was going? To my mother's father. To your mother's? For what? He asked me how she was and I told him she was feeling poor. You told him she was feeling poorly? Yes. And so my brother is to kept out of his bed and go without his supper because you told her she was feeling poorly. There Father, is the attitude for you. Father, the soup is boiling. Then boil the food and don't shut up. No, no, not like that. I will do it. Do you put the salt on the table? The silver ones. The silver ones, Father? Yes, the silver ones. They are sold. They are sold. Are you mad? Why were they sold? The bishop told me this afternoon while we were out to take them to Thompson, who has admired them and sell them for as much as I could. But you had no right to do without asking me. But father, bishop told me. The bishop told you? Well, for what purpose did he sell that sword service? Father, but I think it was for Mrs. Albert for the rent. Mrs. Albert indeed. Mrs. Albert. We had nothing left. His estate is sold. His savings has gone. His everything is gone. Ha, ah, it's too much. Now my beautiful soul cell is also gone. Father, I'm sorry. If I had known. Sorry and why? If the bishop chooses to sell that, he may do so. Yes, father. It's worth going out in the cold of comfort of coming in. Can you, dear? Why? What's the matter? You've been crying. Which have been troublesome, huh? Come, my son. Richard, my son, you run for me. Your mother is better. I have prayed with her and Dr. Habi. Yes, my lord. Richard, my son, take my comforter. 
No, 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 my lord. What nonsense, brother? He is young. He won't hurt. No, father. You have not been out there. It is very cold tonight. Now run home, my son. Oh, thanks, my lord. Brother, I have no patience with you. Sit down and have the soup. You have been waiting for ever so long. Very well, brother. It smells delicious. Please give me a spoon, father. Here, father. Thank you, dear. I am sure Mary's mother is not so ill that you need have stayed out on, on such a night as this. I believe those people pretend to be ill just to have the bishop's coat on them. They have no thought of the bishop. It's very kind of them to see me. So you make me this delicious soup. You are very good to me, brother. Good to you? Yes. But, father, why did you sell the sorcerers? The sorcerers? Yes, it's a pity. You, you are proud of them. It have been in our family for years. Then why did you sell that? I think you will sell our candlesticks next. No, no. Are you good? Do you think like that, father? But I won't sell them. They were given to me my, my mother at her deathbed and asked me to keep that for her remembrance of her. So I won't sell them. Brother, you break my heart. I don't say, say anything more. Bless me and I am going to bed. Don't sit up too long and tire your eyes. No, brother. I am going to bed. Okay, good night, brother. If you call out, you are a dead man. But as you see, my friend, I am reading. Why should I call out? Can I help you in any way? I am hungry. I haven't eaten anything for three days. Give me food quickly. You can have your food. I will ask brother for the keys of cupboard. Sit down. None of that, my friend. I have a wolf inside me tearing my entrails. I want food. Quickly. I wish brother would not lock the cupboard. You have nothing to fear. I am. I and father are around here. How do I know that? Why? I have just told you. Hmm, I will risk it. But mind. Play me false. I will drive my knife through your heart. I have nothing to lose. You have your soul to lose, my son. It's of more value than my heart. Brother, brother, brother. Yes, my lordship. He is a poor traveler who is hungry. If you are not undressed, will you please open the cupboard so that I can take him some food? At this time of night, a pretty business truly. Really. But brother, the traveler is hungry. Very well, I am coming. Oh my God, what is he doing with the knife? The knife, oh well. He may have thought I have thought ours. But he plays us like a wild beast. Hurry, I tell you. Give me food or I will stick my knife in you both and help myself. Give me the keys, brother. And now you go to your bed. Stop there. Neither of you leave this room till I do. Brother, will you please favor this gentleman with your company? Well, he well, evidently well. deserves it. Very well, brother. Here is some cold pie, bread and wine. Put them on the table and stand below so that I can see you both. My knife is sharp. And these forks, steel. We don't use forks in prison. In prison? What was that? Why the hell do you leave the window unshuttered and door unbarred so that anyone can come in? Well, they are shut now. Okay. What the devil are you? I am a bishop. A bishop? Ha <laughs> ha. A bishop, a holy virgin bishop. 
Brother, you may leave us now. This gentleman will excuse you. Leave me this. Please. So that I and my friend can talk more freely. What was that? Oh, leave us. Good night. Good night, brother. sun on it. I had a thing. It was a woman. She was beautiful. She was... Yeah, I remember. She was, she was my wife. She was ill. We had no food. I don't have a job. So I was told. They caught me, but I pleaded them why I stole. But they laughed at me. They sentenced me ten years. That night I was sentenced. My friend came and told that my Janet was dead. God, curse them all. Curse them all. Calm down, my son, calm down. Son, now tell me about the prison tree, about the hell. Why? You want to know about the prison? I was a man once, but now I am a beast. They lashed me. And chained me. I fell on filth. I was covered with vermin. I slept on bones. And I complained. But they lashed me again. They took away my name. They took away my soul. And they placed a devil in this place. But one day, they were careless. The devil has king. He was free. That was three weeks ago. I was free. Free to star. So I stole again. They made me what I am. They made me a thief. You have suffered a lot much, son, but there is still hope. Hope? Ha! <laughs> Hope. Son, you are very tired. Now you want to sleep. Come on. What if anyone comes? No, I don't want to come. If they do, I don't want my friend. Your friend? The bishop's friend? Mm. I'll give you some coverings. Hmm. Oh. Silver. By God. Hey, what a price. Ah, you are admiring my candlesticks. I am very proud of them. As they were given to me by my mother on her deathbed. It is too handsome for this little cottage. Your bed is ready and you are covering. Look here. Why are you so kind to me? Do you want to convert me? No, dear. I don't want any damn religion. And as for church, I hate church. That's a pity. Church doesn't hate you. 
Hmm, that's a good idea. What do you lie down? It's too late. Okay, I'll roll lie down. Just give me and go. Okay, good night, son. They are not locked. Well, I'll have another look at them. Ha. Where are the hunters? I think I'll take them. I'll stay tomorrow. He will preach me and make me soft. Damn his preach. I think I'll take. Here it goes. Brother, brother, yes, my lordship. If you are not asleep, place a jug of water over a table near to our guest so that he can drink water at night. Okay, my lordship. I remember the candlesticks of the bishop. So we brought him here that you might identify them and then we will lock him up. But he's a very good friend of me. You were friend? Yes. He did honor to suffer with me and I gave him the candlesticks. You gave him your candlesticks? Yes. Yes, that's very well. But he won't show me his papers. He won't tell me who he is. He is your bishop's friend. Surely that is enough. But... Surely that is enough. Oh, okay. You can go. Good night, Sergeant. Good night. You told that you gave me the candlesticks. Even after we had treated us your friend, why did you steal our candlesticks? Father, you are all wrong. Go to your room. Leave this man to be cheated again? Place those candlesticks there and leave this room. I won't. I, your bishop, command it. I'm glad. I didn't take the money. What is sleep here? Don't you see your buddy is ready? No, no, no. I have to leave. I have to go. I'm going to Paris. I'll get my house there. Good night. Stay, my son. Are you not taking your property? Pro property? My property? Yes. God. Hi. Thanks. I've been... I've no words for this. Son, there's a small path behind this cottage. It, should, it will lead you to Paris. Always remember, my son, your little body is the temple of God. I will remember the temple of God. Thank you. Okay, good night, good son. Night.
The bishop told me this afternoon while you were out to take down to Thompson. No. I wonder where my brother can be. So after one o'clock I know sign up. Father said, I'm not to do it. 